the true ingredients. <laughs> Hello, Batty Bats. Welcome to another episode of Twisted Tuesday. For those that are new, Twisted Tuesday is a day where I like to go out into the interwebs and look for new indie games to play. So any concepts that intrigue me, I'll play on Twisted Tuesday. Today's theme is all about cartoons. Anyone who was born from the mid-90s to the early 2000s could relate to this. We're kind of going for a nostalgic vibe and like a weird vibe as well. So let's get to it. I have a very special game today, and this was one that I've seen circulating around YouTube that I was like, I want to try this for myself. So it's a SpongeBob horror game. So the premise for the true ingredients is this game is about a fish living in an under Weir Zip City. He was hungry, so he went to the Crunchy Cans restaurant to eat a human patty. A human patty. Everything is going to be fine. So warning to everyone, it includes flashing lights, of course, there's jump scares and funny jokes. So if you're allergic to funny jokes, please don't play this game. So we have Squidward looking very menacing here through this little peephole or whatever. I'm really curious as to what this is about. <laughs> so I'm excited. All right, let's start. Are you ready, kids? Oh my Hi, goodness. I can't hear you! Hi, Hi Captain! Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna under the sea. Wait a minute, what? It was a normal day in Underwear Zip City. You were hungry and wanted a human patty, so you decided to go to the Crunchy Cans restaurant. I don't know, I thought I saw someone... I saw, like, someone enter the crusty... the Crunchy Crans. But Patrick looked it somewhat normal. This one, he had, like, no eyes and just a mouth. Oh. Okay. This is weird. Does it change? This is not what I remember. <laughs> okay. This looks very different. Press E to interact. Welcome to the Crunchy Cans restaurant. What can I get you? There's only one option, Batty Bats. Um, I would like a human patty, please. Find a seat. I'll tell you when it's ready. Okay. We'll sit here, I guess. What's that sound? What the heck? Patrick just have a freaking hole in his face, man. Did that person freaking just choke, choke and die or they get poisoned? What is going on here? They just, they freaking died. Oh, this guy went to sleep on the ketchup. It seems fun. I should probably try that later. Bro, he died. Okay. <laughs> we are a little bit too naive. Where did Patrick disappear to? This is strange, because why does it look so different? <laughs> is my human patty ready? It's almost done, but we ran out of patty, so it might take longer. Then how is it almost done? Is there any way to speed it up? You can go to the warehouse and get some patties. Be careful, it's dark down there. And whatever you do, do not go to the room at the end of the corridor. The warehouse. Okay. <laughs> oh dear me. You said don't go to the last room, but I'm pretty sure whatever we need will... Well, this is the only room. Right? Or is there more? Patrick is gonna be here. I saw him. I saw him. This is locked. Why is Patrick such a freak? He's like a freakazoid. Okay, are these the patties? Looks like it. Only one? Uh, okay. I guess that's all I need. Don't tell me this dude is gonna freaking chase me. Alright, he said don't go to the last room. I'm gonna avoid it for now. <laughs> I don't know, do we have a run button? Oh, we do. Oh my god. Alright, man. What the freak is wrong with him? Oh, you actually managed to get a patty from the cursed warehouse. Good job. Now go inside the kitchen, put it- We're literally making our own food, dude. What do I pay you for? The kitchen is in the first door on your right side. What's the point of me coming here, then? I could've just gone home. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the buns. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's 
I have to wait. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it'll burn. Alright, we got our patty. Let's put the other bun. Here we go. No lettuce or tomato? That's it? Patrick is a creep. Do I have to pay now? I thought I already did. Sit down and enjoy your human patty. Okay. Hold E to eat. <laughs> Space. That human patty tasted like my grandma's toenails. Ew, bro. <laughs> That's just gnarly. <laughs> Alright, what now? That would be... Are you kidding? $78.99? And I had to freaking fry it myself, dude. What? I said that would be 87 He changed the price on us? Why the hell is this so expensive? Listen, there must be a mistake. I've only ordered a simple human patty. I said that would be $98.99. This dude is raising the price... What in the bloody world? Okay, okay, chill out. I don't have $100 in my pocket right now. I only have 35 bucks. So you're saying that you don't have the money for the human patty with you? Don't tell me he's gonna make freaking pa uh, Patrick eat us alive. No, I mean, yes, I have the money at home. I can just go and get it for you right now. So you're saying you don't have the money for the human patty with you right now? No, I told you I don't have $100 with me right now. Uh oh, so Patrick. Oh my god! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> of course, he would attack us because he's greedy as hell. He has a thing with money. What in the bloody world was that transformation, though? <laughs> what the hell? His fish. Fish bones hooked, hooked up. What in the. Freaking plankton! <laughs> are you okay? Why are you stuck in a cage? Why does he look like a damn oversized pickle? I was trying to steal a secret formula, but I failed and Mr. Crab put me in this cage. How did you get stuck in this room? Did you try to steal a secret formula? No. The human patty was too expensive and I didn't have enough money to pay it back. I know Mr. Crab is an asshole. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to save you from this cage. Don't really try, Mr. Cab- Why did I say cab? Don't really try, Mr. Crab has locked the cage and swallowed the key. But good luck anyway. What in the world is going on in this world? I thought everything was- It's freaking blood! I thought everything was supposed to be all sunshine and rainbows. A box with two balls inside it. They don't seem useful. What in the bloody world is going on? We're locked in, dude. I really can't get him out of here. These fish. Okay, there's some... There's a puzzle. A few small boxes. I don't think they're useful. Okay, I'm noticing there's two starfish. How do I interact with this, though? It seems like a keypad. I should find a passcode. All right, how do you propose I do that though? Because it's nothing I can do, at least for now. There's nothing with these. Can we ask Plankton? He's just looking at us. What about this box? There has to be something. Okay, so this is the number of fish that we have in the room. All right, so there's three fish and there's two starfish. Um, there's four crates. And circle. I'm only counting the door. I'm only going to put one because I think that's what it's referring to. I'm not 100% sure. Is that it? Is that the correct code? No. Oh. Mm. Oh, that the the it's these. I was counting the okay. Let me put one more. For some reason I was thinking of like shapes around the room. Wonder if that will count though, but let's just put two and see what happens. Alright, let me put three.
Okay, so the other crate counted as another box. I thought it would just be the little ones, but that worked. Okay. It's never a good sign when you see a deadly icon on a door. Oh, that's because that was the last door that I was warned not to go into. I don't want to go in there. Alright. I don't even know if I can escape. The door is locked. Ah, oh, I have to go to the last room, unfortunately. Let me just double check that there's nothing new here. There's nothing else I can interact with. Just the patties. We have a... Uh, oh, yes. I need that. Maybe I can avoid the last room? Can I try to open a door? No. What about this? The door is locked. Hmm. That didn't do anything, so I have no choice. But what if I go back? Am I able to free Plankton? Oh, there he is. Thank you for saving me. Let's go and find a way out of this place. Okay, imagine he could probably help us. Does he follow us? He freaking does. He looks so freaky, dude. Oh, dear God. We have no... Can he... I don't know. I always want to exhaust all options. Like, does he know something I don't? Does he have anything to offer me? No. All right, Plankton. It's you and I. I can't even make him go up here. I have to put the tool back first. Oh, really? I can't take it with me as a weapon? That sucks, dude. Damn. I can't take anything else? Why the hell did he look just bigger now? Oh, this is a tenno. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna see Patrick, aren't we? We're gonna have to run from him. I don't like this. Okay, I think that safe is the secret formula. Yikes. Why isn't Plankton following? Okay. This is another keypad for the safe. I should find a passcode. Alright, this time... There's nothing that's giving me a hint as to where that could be, though. Hmm... Would it be the same... the same numbers? Um... Okay. That doesn't work. Oh, now this is... I can't go in here. <laughs> hey, alright. All passwords. Click this link to get free gift cards. <laughs> what if we do click it? We got Rickrolled! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. That's a bad sign though, I think. We're, it's making noise. Uh-oh, that was bad. We're dead. That's not a good sign. Turn this off! Yeah. How long is this gonna last? This is a curse song. Oh. I'm terrified as to what's outside the door right now. It's gonna be Patrick. Oh, we're done for. Oh, they're reading numbers. I didn't realize. Okay, five zero. I was scared. Five zero eight. Fifty eighty nine. I thought that that voice was Patrick stalking us. 
I thought the noise was going to attract him. I'm actually surprised it didn't. 50, 89. All right. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. 50, 89. All right. Oh, it's the secret formula. Oh, my God. Oh, that's oh, plankton. After all these years, I'm about to find out what makes the Krabby Patty taste so good. <laughs> Human meat. Look at him doing the Naruto run. <laughs> oh, God. Holy <laughs> crap. Freaking run. Plankton offered himself as a sacrifice. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Holy crap. SpongeBob is freaking angry. Paul, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god. This is freaky. This is too good to be true, though. Oh my god, he's like right on me. We would rather die than face Spongebob. Ew! Where the human meat patty? Ew! Well, we're not human, right? We're a fish, but I don't know. That's Patrick? <laughs> it says, thank you for playing. That was it? Developed by Render PI. Dude, that was hilarious. People who have tested in the game. Rad X Raiden. Oh my god, really? We have to press. Dude, what are you doing to us? I have to press all of this to get out of the game. <laughs> I'm pressing all of this. Okay, are you sure? You Are you not sure you want to exit the game? Dude, is he trying to trick us? No. So you are not sure that you are sure. What is this? What? I can't even quit the game. He's making a challenge in itself. <laughs> so you are not sure that you are sure? No. By no, you meant no? <laughs> For F's sake, let me go. Okay, chill. Let me just ask you one question. Did you like this game? I loved it so much that I'm going to tip $5 to the developer for this great game. I'm just like, anything to get out of here. <laughs> okay, that was an experience by Vets. Oh my god. Does this not have multiple endings? Okay, so I read a little bit of the comments and it seems like the reason why the game looks different, the characters, they used to be with the Spongebob characters, but because they're copyrighted, the developer had to remove copyrighted material, so he had to switch things over, um, which that takes a lot of work. So um, I think this game is very fun, so I liked it a lot. <laughs> and apparently there's a secret ending. <laughs> important this is an unfinished game we've done our best to come up with a playable version of it but keep in mind that this game has bugs broken levels and nearly unplayable sections we've established that in this build there are at least three levels connected to completely broken sections we couldn't find how to access them even though it's possible to do it but we are able to put data missing screens on them so if you find one of those levels please try to describe exactly how you found it in the game's ichio page we couldn't set up a direct controller input for this port so here's a diagram that shows which keys correspond to which controller button and what they do okay <laughs> all right baddie that's this one's special to me because uh, being a 2000s kid that grew up with all of these awesome cartoons courage the cowardly dog was one of those favorites of mine of cartoon network 
So I saw this on Ichio and I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. But even though it's incomplete, I did want to see what this developer managed to find. They said they found it from a hard drive that uh, they bought from a yard sale and they discovered this PS1 classic. So they were able to restore what they could. So let's see what it's like. <laughs> This takes me back, man. The the unique theme song and everything. I love it. Okay. We're courage. Okay. Not really sure what our objective is, but let's see what happens. Okay, so we can change the camera. Okay, I don't think we can interact with that door. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Oh, question mark. Oh, yes, his computer. Where he did research on everything. I love that. Alright, the computer. I remember the computer had, like, the voice, right? It Was it, was it a female voice? I don't remember. Huh. Okay. I'm just like, every time I hear the theme song, I'm just waiting for Eustace to go, stupid dog. <laughs> you know, I always wonder too, like, what breed is Courage supposed to be? I guess it's just a weird generic dog. I remember seeing a clip years ago too of the voice actor dressed up like Courage and he did the epic scream. That was what made Courage so hilarious, the scream. And, um, what was his line? He said what I do for love or something like that because <laughs> he's always saving Muriel because Muriel is sweet to him but Eustace is pretty abusive I'm not sure why the light change hmm Oh, that creepy thing. What am I supposed to do? Uh oh. Find them. The paws? Or Muriel and Eustace? Is that what it's saying? Find them. Okay. Where are they, anyway? I'm not sure if it's asking... Is that something out the window? Oh, we could go outside. Whoa, isn't this creepy? This is unique to me because I never heard of Courage having a game, but I wouldn't be surprised, though. There's a question mark. Okay. I'm just going to keep going down this dark labyrinth. This is really spooky. Everything just got super quiet. I feel like I hear chirping. Okay, there's a pentagram. Are you kidding me? Was this legit a game? It almost... It isn't, but it almost looks like it, it could be a pentagram. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to interact with any of them, like, there's no one here, so... Hmm. Okay, let me just head on down to the left. Okay, that's blocked off. Let me go to the right. It's really cool. I wish there were more um, Cartoon Network games that were ported for PC. Because there were a lot of good ones. Like you had Powerpuff Girls. Um, I'm not sure if Dexter's Laboratory ever had one. You had Ed and Nettie games, which I used to love that show so much. Okay, it looks like this is the only thing I can interact with. So let me just go around and see if anything happens. Okay, so I ended up discovering something because... The game is 
incomplete. But reading through the comments on the development page, there were some frustrations about how to exit this level. There was actually reshading done, apparently, that made some people upset. Uh, so you basically have to kind of go around and there should be an opening somewhere. That is confusing because there's no way you would know that unless you were walking against the wall just because. I thought I was about to end it because I thought that was all there was to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of confusing to me. This is why I'm questioning, was this a legit Courage the Cowardly Dog game? I'm gonna have to look that up, see if I could buy it for Xbox or my PS2 that can also play PS1 games. Hmm. So it should be around somewhere. I'm just gonna keep going until I find an opening. But that's really bizarre. So it's an invisible maze. I wonder if the chirping is supposed to be a, a hint. Interesting, because this one doesn't make that weird sound. Like, it's very strange. Like, I don't understand it. <sighs> that one doesn't give you the fail sound. I like randomly. <laughs> See that one? There's like a couple. I should be able to face through because I saw another player do so. And MatPat did it easily too. I went through all the chairs and I still can't do anything. I've dedicated probably too much time to this. All right, I'm gonna try the chairs one more time. Okay, this one gives me a normal snap. Do we have to go in a specific order? I think I'm kind of getting it. All right. So there was, this is a unique puzzle. You get a snap. Go down here, I follow the line. Do this one. Then go down here. All right. Hmm. That's very interesting, though, and confusing. All right, I'm going to try to figure this out. <laughs> okay, so just as I managed to figure out other chairs, I discovered there's more to this pattern. All right, so I did have the... I did figure out most of it. Let me reset it. Okay. It's kind of weird. Got it. The other ones I managed to discover. This one. But it doesn't stop. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. 
Okay. So I had to keep looping it. That sound should let me enter now. I kind of wish Matt Pat would have described that better. I mean, his video made that confusing. A lot of it was figuring it out for myself, and I did find someone that played it, so shout out to Nimir in peace, because <laughs> she helped me figure out the rest of it that I had to keep looping it. That's why. Okay. Now I can discover what else Courage the Cowardly Dog has to offer here. <laughs> oh my god, I spent way too much time trying to figure this out. All right. So I know you have to start a new game anyway. All right, the game crashed. Yeah, this video was not helpful in any way. Um, all right, let me start it up again. Okay. Let's see what else happens in this game. Okay. I don't know what else to do now. We encountered the face. Okay. Well, looks like it's the same as usual. Okay, um, I think this is the grandfather clock thing that I saw. I don't know what else happens after this, though. Okay. Do I go back upstairs? Did anything change? Okay, the grandfather clock stopped. Oh, no, it didn't. What do I need to do? Okay. <laughs> the game crashed. That's very strange, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm on top of the TV now, or... This is a mystery. <laughs> this is so strange. Okay. I can get back in. What else? Uh-oh. The lighting? The, this game is, like, literally cursed. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You can't interact with the television. There's supposed to be something I can trigger, though. Alright. There you are again. Find them. Yeah, what does that mean exactly? Find what? Makes me think of, like, Blue's Clues, right? Find three clues of some sort. Um... It's just strange because I have no access to the other places in the house. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're back here. Am I gonna see anything different? Okay, so we're back in this labyrinth. Is there anything else I could see? I did I did see someone else come back to this and there was a little surprise here. I don't know if I'm gonna get that surprise. It's actually kind of a touching um, little surprise. I kind of hope I can find it because what I just found out from playing this game actually shocked me. <laughs> I 
Before I enter the maze again, let me just double check the area that nothing popped up. Okay, I think I remembered uh, Courage's catchphrase. He's like, the things I do for love. <laughs> I really wish... It's like there's something... There's something hidden here, dude. And I know it's here, but I can't seem to unlock it. Okay, read me. Let me see what this is. When you find a dead end, just erase time. <sighs> this is like a freaking... <laughs> Man, it's like... You start... You have different starting positions, so it's like... Each time you uncover something, it's different. You see how there's no furniture? I'm a little bit frustrated because I really want to unlock that special surprise. <gasps> oh. Okay, so apparently this is Morse code. Since I don't know how to identify any of that or decipher it. Alright, so we're back with the time. So when you reach a dead end, just erase time. So when the clock strikes midnight, it's gonna crash again. It's just different every time. Okay, we're gonna crash again. What does the performance fix even say? Hi, Rael here, new hired engineer. We found what caused 99% GPU usage. They're working on an update, okay. How many more times do I have to do this before I get that special surprise? All right. I'm not going to jump this time, but I am going to hit the question mark. Alright. And I'm going to go back to the starting pathway. There were two question marks there. I have to figure out the right order now. I kind of hate... I guess it's not relevant. Did that change anything this time? I found it! In memoriam. Yes. The voice actress of Muriel passed away, so rest in peace, Muriel Bag. That's really sad, man. Apparently it's not done. There's a single chair. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so it loads me back here, so there's something I need to do. Okay, I'm kind of following the pattern where it, like, dips. Okay, I literally had to download Reshader in order to figure this puzzle out. Apparently, you can't do it otherwise. Okay, got my home button on. Welcome, since it's the first time you start reshade, we'll go through a quick tutorial. Okay, so I have to press something. The list of effects. Okay, so I can try different things 
to reveal the, the invisible maze. It's basically impossible to do this without a reshader, and I'm going to show you why once I find the right effect. The amount of time I dedicated to trying to figure this out and learning from other gamers is crazy. Alright, okay, so if you decide to do this for yourself, the correct effect is display depth. Okay, I'm going to continue and finish. Alright, so I'm going to press home again. Alright, the screen is probably going to look cut off on some part, but you see this? <laughs> Buddy bats, the craziness, but I am dedicated to figuring this out. This is impossible to do without a reshader. This is some some crazy stuff right here, <laughs> but I love all the secrets behind it. I don't know what comes after this, so hmm. All of this just to get to the chair. <laughs> Isn't that something? Damn. Dude, look at how freaking far. That's a cutoff path, I think. I'm gonna take the long way. This is insane to me. Like, who comes up with this idea? <laughs> Oh my lord. Oops, I almost fell off the edge there. I would have ruined everything. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep going down here. This is such a freaking crazy maze. Look at how long it is. I was literally sitting here debating whether I wanted to go through the trouble of downloading the reshader, but I'm glad I did because it's not as complex as I thought it would be. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but... And thankfully, there's videos on YouTube that can help you figure this out, too. Okay. Hmm. All right, I, I don't know how far along we're getting close, but <laughs> this is just blowing my mind, dude. I kind of love the fact that it, it's Courage the Cowardly Dog that has this unique secret behind the game. You literally have to hack the game to figure this out. And if you're interested in knowing what the Morse code was, you can watch Game Theory. He has a video on Cursed Cowardly Dog, the cancelled game. Although the de developer claims they're going to update it. I did not expect for this game to be like this. I thought it would be like a fun game that happened to be about Curse the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even see the chair. Is that the chair back there? Yeah. I think because of this game, my Twisted Tuesday episode is going to be a little bit late. It might premiere on Wednesday. <laughs> it might be uploaded on Wednesday, but hey. Okay, I think I finally made it to the damn chair. What happens now? Wow, all of this. There was no freaking way you would be able to figure this out without hacking it. Okay, it's gonna crash again. Now what's different? Okay. Let me turn this off. What is different? Oh. 
Oh. There's coins now. Okay. This is really weird, dude. Muriel! Wait, let me put my volume. What's going on? Dude, I did not expect this. This is cursed. Muriel Spirit? She's not gonna be mean to us, right? She loves courage. I don't know if we're running out of time. I can't even... God, I got scared that I saw something on the ceiling just now. I'm scared right now. <sighs> what is gonna happen when we collect all the coins? I still have others. I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> okay, how the hell do I reach the damn TV? No. I can't jump that high. Okay, what if I try? Alright. I don't understand what... What... The Muriel... Is supposed to mean. God, how am I supposed to get up here? Freaking heck. Come on, let me just get these damn coins. They're the only ones left. Freaking hell. Dude, I didn't do all of this just to not be able to get the damn coins. I'm really concerned about Muriel right now. Oh god, what happens now? What happens now, dude? I'm terrified if I'm gonna see Muriel in like a weird demented form. Oh god. What's behind this door, Batty Bats? Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for something freaking strange to happen. Oh, dear God. Data missing. Okay, they did say that. Right. Okay. Okay, I think that is all the game has to offer. Okay, so that was a very interesting experience of Courage the Cowardly Dog, the cancelled game. First time ever in my life that I had to hack a game in order to experience um, each different pathway, unlock new secrets, and figure out how it ends. But is this really the ending since it's going to be updated? Well, it is for now until there's more information on the update. So if you enjoyed this video, swarm the like button, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, and ring the bell to stay top of my latest uploads, and stay tuned for the following episode of Twisted Tuesday, the following Tuesday. Farewell, baddie bats. Pay a visit again next time. Take care.